Good day, everybody. My name is David Chien Brown, the CEO of Also TV. I'm a gospel film, a movie director, an actor, producer, and a writer. What we do on this channel is promoting godly values. We create movies, talk shows that edify God and promote what God actually wants in the family. What we do is family. Subscribe to this channel, like our movies, and also click on the notification bell for you to be able to receive updates as new videos drop. Thank you. God bless you. Ah, do you ready? Eh, I want a ballo so pe. Eni abashe lo reti o ba dupe. Bi olosa akoni leru loni. Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. If not for your mercy, ah, this house will be money this morning. Oh, by your mercy, you have kept us. Thank you because you have chosen us for your mercy. That is why I have come to appreciate you this morning. Is she? Is she any baba me? Ah, I slept and I woke up. You preserved me. You preserved my wife. You preserved my children. Ah, I do not take it for granted. There are many people who would have desired to wake up this morning. Thank you for the privilege to sleep and wake up. Lord, we are grateful. You said you have mercy on those whom you have mercy on. You said you have compassion on those whom you have compassion on. Thank you for choosing us for your mercy. Oh God, we are grateful. Oni, eni ba dupe ori ano. Aturo mi rogba. Tori eni moshe wa dupe o. As we go out today, guide me. You also said it in your word, Lord. You said we should redeem the time because the days are evil. Father, please protect us. Ah. Guide my wife. Guide my children. Keep evil far away from us. Eh? 
do not kill me. Do not kill my wife. Do not kill my children. My fathers, I worship you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your food. Uh, I have come to give you what you like to eat. Carry. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, O Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from trouble. Hey, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. You, this woman, you, this woman, have I not warned you? That nobody, I mean, nobody under my roof must worship any other God apart from the ones that my fathers gave to me. Huh? Oh, I know, I know. You're already preparing to pack out this house, right? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> pack out your soul. Remember, this is the last time I will want you like this. You try this rubbish again, you are gonna. You are what? You are gonna. Nonsense. Mr. Marcos Akinsonia. Yes, sir. I've carefully gone through your credentials. And um, I can categorically say that this is excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. From the report I got from the interview panel about your interaction section, That report is also corroborating the fact that you are fantastic. Thank you, sir. This is good. Yes. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you don't want this company to fold up within six months, don't employ this man. Um, <coughs> um, 
um, uh, Mr. Marcos Akisoya. Yes, um, um, uh, you are honestly such a brilliant young man. But I'm sorry, we may not be able to employ you here. Sir? The space that we have is not for you. You heard me. Um, sir. Please help me. Please, please do something. I need this job. But, but, please, please, please help me. Well, um... There is nothing I can do for now. Uh. Um, my hands are tied. Uh. This is beyond me. Sir, please. This is the sixty-seventh interview. I will be attending without any success. Sixty-seventh? Yes, sir. And you have not gotten a single job? Some said my result is intimidating. Please, sir. <laughs> Help me. Please do something, sir. <sighs> Honestly, this is beyond me. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. My hands are tied. You may please excuse me. Uh, uh, Mr. Marcos. Sir? Um, I can see that you are desperately in need of this job. Yes, sir. There are, there are many bills to pay. Take this. You can set to any of your bills that this can set to. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Oh, sir, what about the job? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Sorry. This man is the most qualified for this position. He is brilliant. He will deliver. And he is also... I can't really fix this. But God, why... What has... Employing a brilliant young man got to do with the company folding up in six months. This is this is this is somehow. Yes. I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Your prayer could not change anything. 
Ramakos, first off, have a seat. That is not necessary. I just come to tell you that your prayer has failed again. <sighs> well, like mine is to pray. It's God's to answer the prayer. <sighs> See, Brother Marcos, <clears throat> if God decides not to give you that job, that means the job is not meant for you. Is it until I start begging for bread that God will not give me a job? I, I don't want you to ever think like that. See, I am young, and now that I am old, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. See, the question is, are you righteous or you are just playing church? See, if you are righteous, then know that God has not forsaken you. Hmm? Brother Marcos! Brother Marcos! Brother Marcos! Brother Marcos! Brother Marcos! Please! Come back, we need to talk. We need to talk. Oh, this man is completely frustrated. God, please do something on behalf of this, your son. Ah. I don't understand what you said over the phone. What did you say happened at the office? The same old story. But this time, I thought I've gotten the job. How do you mean? The manager said, I have carefully gone through your credentials. They are excellent. The briefing I got from the oral interaction also reflected what is in these credentials before me. What is it? Why are you staring at me in that manner? That was how the manager was staring at me. Before saying, Mr. Marcos Akinsanya, we can't give you work in this company. I am very sorry. Uh -uh. What did you do that made him to stare at you like that? Before saying such words. How will I know? How will I know what is in his mind? What is your business with what was going on in his mind? Or, are they not the one who sent you a message that you should come this morning? Yes. I even got there before the time I was given.
Hello, Madam Maria. Good afternoon. How is business today? We thank God, sir. God has been faithful. Glory be to God. Will you be in the church for the evening service today? No, sir. In fact, I need to come and see you for a very serious discussion. I don't know when you will be in the church office, sir. I hope there's no problem. Uh, don't, can't we discuss on phone? Ah, uh, no, sir. It's not something we can discuss on phone. Is it that serious? Very serious. Very serious. That is why I need to see you to discuss with you. I don't know if you are in the church office now, sir. Well, I'm presently in the church office now. Uh, you can come before the service begins. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Bobby Bolu, at your Mickey's shop, please help me look after the shop. I'll be back soon, please. Thank you. <laughs> Marcos! Ha cha 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 cha! Good morning, sir. Your Excellency. What is good about the money? What is the time? Uh, six, six a.m. Ah! Six what? Six, six o'clock a.m. Hey, hey, hey. I pity you, I pity your condition. Look around you. Just, just, just look around you. How many of your co-tenants can you see? How many of your co-tenants can you see? A lazy man does not plant in the winter. When the harvest comes, he begs and he asks nothing. Nothing. The time by my watch is 11 a.m. All your mates are at work making money. You, you are inside the house snoring. Sleeping, snoring, dreaming, snoring inside the house. Marcos, Marcos. Yes, sir. Listeners throw someone into deep sleep. An idle man will go hungry. That is my advice for you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Everywhere just dark like this. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, Bernie, you know why I'm here. Um, Daddy, 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 don't don't waste time. Don't waste time. Please, get time. I will pay you, sir. You will pay me. I know you will pay before. Uh, you don't have a choice to pay. The question is that when? Uh, at the end of this month. Which month? This month. This month. Yes, sir. How will you be able to pay at the end of this month? Tell me. How? Will you steal? No. Marcos. Yes, sir. You will pay. Yes, sir. Remind me, what was today's date? Um, February 2nd, sir. Yes, sir. What is the last day of this month? 28, sir. 28? Yes, sir. 28 is the last day of the month? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. This is not our. Out of my own magnanimity. I'm going to have 15 more days for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I can see that you are afraid. Yes, sir. In my magnanimity, <laughs> I will add 15 more days. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank don't thank me yet. So that on the 15th of March, don't even bother to tell me anything. No. Don't even try. Just hand over my money to me. It's simple. Oh, okay, sir. No I will be out. Yes, I will do that, sir. The soul of the slothful is desiring, but has not. <laughs> You better go to the hand so I can learn how to work hard. Yes, sir. Th thank you, sir. Don't yes, sir. thank me. Don't thank me. 
just go and walk and look for my money. Catch you go. Yes, Thanks, sir. Don't back me. Don't back me. I didn't shout. I didn't shout. And that's why I, I ensured that I started my own prayer when he was already with his idols as he used to do every morning. Oh. All right. <clears throat> Please, do you want me to come with you to talk to him? Ah, no. No, sir. That wasn't the case. He, he would think that I've just been discussing about him with everybody. Ah, <laughs> I've not even thought that before he vowed that anytime he sees me praying in his house again, he will send me packing. Ah, don't come more. Did he also say that? Ah, yes, sir. He did. <laughs> not to talk of you now coming to my house to discuss this same issue with him. Ah. That will not help the matter. Mm. The Lord will teach us what to do. Amen. So, you may not be seeing me in church services for now, again, sir. Till God changes his heart. I understand. There's no problem. If you don't see me in church, the church will be praying for you. But you can still pray in that house without praying aloud. Yes, it is possible. Really? Yes. How? Okay. God is spirit. And those that must worship him, must worship him in spirit and truth. I, I, I still don't understand. God knows the heart of every man. Even when one is uh, saying something contrary to what is in his mind. Mind. You remember the woman with the issue of blood? That woman taught in her heart. And if I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And what happened after she successfully touched the hem of the garment of Jesus? Ah, she was made whole instantly. Did, did she say any word to Jesus before that happened? No, she didn't. Then, what did she do? She only thought in her heart. And, uh, did Jesus grant her a request or not? Yes, he did. He granted her request. So, it's not until you shout in prayers before Jesus Christ can answer you. Hmm. He hears the parts of our hearts. So, you two can do like that woman. Hmm. Now I understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> um, there's no problem. If you don't see you in the church, 
the church will be praying for you. Ah, thank you so much, sir. I'm grateful. Ah, but I will miss the Bible study. No. <laughs> you will not miss the Bible study. Okay. You will not miss the Bible study. Because I'll be sending someone to come to your shop every week to teach you what has been taught in the church. Ah. And I promise that I also will be visiting you at least once in a week ah. until this problem is solved. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I'm so grateful. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I see this time as the time that uh, God wants you to move closer to him pastor. Mm -hmm. You're not here. Amen. Thank you, sir. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you for this family. We thank you because of what we are going to do in this family. Thank you, Lord. Because you are going to surprise us. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, I can always remember what uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says. Hmm. The all things work together them that love the Lord, mm. to them that are called by His purpose, mm. you know, the Lord will be with you. Amen. Guide you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sir. Say I'm so grateful, sir. I, 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 will, I will try. Bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. I'm so grateful, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. You are now full members after a successful initiation. Now that you are under the covering of the great master, there is no evil that can befall you anymore. And henceforth, there is nothing you need that you will not get with ease. There is nothing good I have benefited from this group of adolescents since I have joined them. Ah, ah, ah. 12 years of membership is not a joke. They said I should invoke spirit of the gods. I did it. They also said I should burn incense. I cannot even remember the number of times I did that. Yet, I am still on the same spot. I'm not asking too much. Just this job and I will be satisfied. If they can just do it for me, I will be forever grateful. I will specially prepare a perfume for you. No one perceives it and refuses your offer. But it is costly. And I don't know how you can get the money. How much will it cost? Just 10,000 euros. Ten thousand naira. That is much. Where will I get such money from? You can borrow from friends, family and even your neighbors I promise to pay back when you resume work but who will lend me such an amount when they know I'm not working
Yes. Who is that? Who is that? I'm coming. Uh, come. Because a lazy man would think he's wiser. Eh? <laughs> ah. He's just something you're hiding in this house. Uh, uh, what will I be hiding? Uh, who knows? Uh, there's nothing inside. Eh, open the door. Let me enter. Let me enter. Let me come and sit down. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, ah. Marcos. You enjoy you? Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. Only you. <laughs> ah, you red. You red. Ah, ah. You enjoy you? Marcos. How was the video? Fine, sir. Mm. Did you go out today? Uh, I went out. You went out? Yes, sir. You my money, Abu? No, sir. Ah? You mean, do you have any intention to pay my money? Uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I, I mean, no, I went out. Marcos, is it because I'm making your bread and not? What is bread and that I cannot get? I don't buy for myself. Will, How much is it? I will definitely Whether pay. Whether I eat your bread, or I don't eat your bread, you pay my money. Mm. Eh? Marcos, yes, remind me of today's date, remind me. Uh, February 28th. February 28th? Yes, sir. February 28th? Yes, sir. How many days remaining for you to pay my money? 15 more days, sir. 15 more days, Marcos. Yes, sir. 15 more days. Let me tell you something. Laziness leads to poverty. But hard work makes you rich. Hmm? Let me advise you. Marcos, let me advise you. A lazy man tears all day at his prey. But the word of a working man is precious. Do something, Marcos. Do something. If it is to go to go to the market, I'm carrying the market. I'm carrying the Go and call. Go and call. I'm carrying the As long as they give you money, do it! There is dignity in hard work. Only look at my As long as you can give you money, do it! Nothing is dirty. Is that thing that thing? Yes, sir. That thing is what? Hard work does? Hard work pays. Hard work does what? Hard work pays. Hard work does what? Hard work pays. Laziness is what? Little. Very, very cool. Don't be lazy. Whatever your hands can to do, do it. What your hands can to do? What? Do it. What your hands can to do? What? Do it. Hey. Exodus 20, verse 1 to verse 5. And God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Mm. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, mm. punishing the children for the sins of the fathers mm. to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Mm. This is serious. But, uh, sir, what of the people that are still bowing to other gods in ignorance? Will they all perish or what? Mm -hmm. That takes us to Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 8, verse 19. Deuteronomy is after numbers. Mm. After numbers. Mm. Okay. Let me read. If you ever forget the Lord your God, and follow other gods and worship and bow to them mm. I, I testify against you today that you will surely be destroyed ah. hey hey that's serious hmm. conclusively our god is a jealous god hmm. he does not want to share his place in our lives in our hearts with any other God, whether the one you framed yourself or the one you are invited to worship, because 
He does not want it. He is jealous. And nobody can ever take his place in our lives. <sighs> I have a question. Okay. Now, those people who are bowing to other gods in ignorance, okay. will God destroy all of them? Hmm. That's a very good question. Uh, which means we should go to Second Peter chapter 3. Verse 9. Second Peter 3, verse 9. Are you there now? <laughs> Almost. Okay, yes. Second Peter 3, verse 9. Mm. It reads thus The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness, hmm. he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone, everyone to hmm. come to repentance. Hmm. I can actually tell you, for those who seem to be in that kind of situation, God is still expecting them to come back to him but but everyone is time bound every grace is time bound oh yeah oh yeah hey, bo -bo Everything, 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 oh, everything, please, everything. Sir, please, I beg you, please. If this, how long will it please, take you to do a simple please, task? Let me get the money. I'll, 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 Boys, you are wasting time. You are wasting sir, time. Sir, you, you are wasting sir, time. If he stands in front of you, pull him down. We don't have the old days. It's a simple task. Carry everything. How much is it slow in the first instance? Carry everything. If you start your bed, give me a slap. Blow him down. Just give me a little time. I will give you the money. We don't have the old days. Oh, yeah. It's a busy business. Yes. Yes. Come back in the next three days. Okay, sir. Your special perfume will have been ready.
Good morning, sir. Marcos, Marcos. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Marcos, Marcos. Yes, sir. Ah, you are spending nice to do. Do you are laughing that or is different, Abi? Yes. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eh? I need 1,000. Yes, sir. Marcos. Sir. You need 1,000 naira. Yes, sir. Okay. I will give you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I will give you. Thank you, sir. Hey. It's because you are smelling nice, you. Yeah, yes, sir. Because you are smelling nice, you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, eh? Thank you very much, sir. Ah, it's feeling like uh, nothing that is like uh, rose flower or something. Like, like rose flower. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Fine. How can I help you? I would like to see the manager. The manager? You know the way to his office? Yes. Yes, you can go in. Thanks. Wow. This one smells nice. <sighs> Mr. Marcos, I can't remember having an appointment with you. Yes. So what are you doing here? I have come to start the work. Which work? The same work. Will you get out from that seat? If you don't leave my office now, I'll get you arrested. Sorry, sir. By the way, who allowed you in here? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. Get out! Hello, sir. All right, sir. And how did that man gain entrance in my office without my consent? I don't know, sir. You don't know what? Does that mean that he disappeared and he appeared in my office here? I don't know, sir. Hey? I pity you. You're just joking with your job. I'm very sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Get out. Nonsense. Nonsense. 
You are fake! This perfume did not work! You have to refund my money! that kept me out of church. The same problem? Yes. Since I'm not part of people God has desire to help, I have to look for help somewhere else. Oh, 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 all right, uh, all right, uh, Brother Marcos, please, uh, uh, please. Um, uh, how can we see so that so as to talk better? Pastor, Pastor, please, I, I will call you back. I, I will call you back. I will definitely call you back. Hello? Hello? Hello, bro Marcos? Good evening, sir. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. You have two days. Just two days to pay me my money. Otherwise, with you and your load and everything you have outside. Uh, sir, sir, please. Please have mercy on me. You know, you know how the country is now. Eh? I'm trying my best. So, because of the way the country is, I should know it. The way the country is, my children should go hungry. You're trying your best. Your best is bad. Your best is terrible. Your best is horrible. Your best is not good enough, Marcos. It's either you pay your money or you pack your load. Pick one. Otherwise, do this. Do I this. will pay your money. Hmm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Marcos, do this. Yes, sir. We need to see you. Yes, we need to discuss something together. No problem, sir. It's all right. Um, uh, could you please see me in my office tomorrow? That is not a problem, sir. I, I will make it, sir. Before close the hour? Yes, sir. No problem, sir. So I shall be expecting you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's all right. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.
Pastor, sir, please help us. It has been like this for weeks now. And his health keeps deteriorating. And you said you have taken him to the hospital? Yes, sir. But the doctor said that his health is beyond medical intervention. Uh, uh, what else have you done? Ah. Mm. Sir. Before the situation became worse as this, I told him more. I told him that we should go to church for prayers. But in his usual ways, he said no. Instead, he went ahead and invited one of his idol priests. And that one came and did some things on him. And since that time, everything just grew worse. And we are like this. <laughs> Please, sir, uh, help us. It is where? Please pray for it him. Maybe God will just show him mercy. <clears throat> Mr. Uhuru. God is generous. Generous to the extent that uh, anything any man asks him, he will do it. Uh, but as generous as he is, he won't give to the enemy of his son what he will use against him. <laughs> See, God may decide to heal you. But in other words, he can decide not to, not because he doesn't have the power, but simply because he knows the best for us. So he can decide not to. You understand? But the major thing is that uh, uh, to reign with him in his kingdom. And uh, the only way by which you can do that is by uh, confess your sin and believe in him. Um, Mr. Ogwolu, are you ready to do that? Are you ready to confess him as your personal Lord and Savior? Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> say this was a family, even though you cannot uh, speak. But I know that you are hearing. <laughs> say, my Lord Jesus. <laughs> I know that I'm a sinner. And uh, as I confess my sin, I want you to forgive me. And write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are being. <laughs> no, sir. Hey, see this for you. You are doing Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky. Marcos. Hanky Panky. Why? Hide and seek. For me. What is today's date? Okay. In case you have forgotten, today is March 15. The day you promised me to pay me my money. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh huh. Uh, I want to, I want to quickly go to somewhere, like, I want to see somebody. Uh, when I come back, I will, I will come and see you, I will come and pay you. Very good, very good. That is what I'm waiting to hear. You are going 
to see somebody when you come back my money very good so i'm giving you it to tonight that is the end of today hey marcus <laughs> if at the end of today if at the end of today don't give me my money first thing tomorrow morning but for, for first thing tomorrow morning with you and your belongings out of this house i should not do that i should not do that i said my own Keep, keep, keep playing your hanky panky. Keep, keep, keep playing your blue and sick. End of today, tomorrow morning. You and your material belongings are thrown out of this room. Please, sir, don't do that. Please, please, I promise to I pay your money. I have my word. Sir. Be hanky panky. Hanky panky for me. Sir, sir, sir. Call it, call it. Tonight. I give it to tonight. I've said my word. No, sir. Mr. Marcos, you cannot be two-sided. It is either you are for Jesus or you are against him. You cannot serve God and at the same time serve the devil. It's not possible. And that's why the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, that I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I would wish that you are cold or hot. You see, because of this, God said in the next two verse that because you are lukewarm, you are neither cold nor hot. I am ready to vomit you out from my mouth. The truth of the matter is that you stand to gain nothing from the courts. God is interested in you. He wants you, he loves you, he's your creator and wants to create your life for good. He wants you and your life. He's interested in you. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 says that here I am. I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with him. Jesus. Uh, Mr. Marcos, the word anyone in that bus could be you i want you to think about it jesus is standing at the door of your heart he knocks you want to come in the best decision you can make now is to say my lord come in say my lord i am ready for you he does not want to leave he does not want to leave you he wants to come and reshape on your life. He loves you. He's interested in you. He's the only one that you need. You need your salvation. Mr. Marcos, I'd like you to make a decision today. The decision that you're making today will reshape in your life for good. And you will never regret it. Accept him into your life. Mr. Marcos, I, I just congratulate you for this decision that you have made. Let us pray. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. I, I want you to. I will thank God for what He is now doing in your life. Um, please uh, take this, use this to pay your rent.
Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Ogunle would like to see you. Sir. All right. Let them in. All right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, it's good to see your face again. God bless you. How oh, is it? How oh, is it? Ah, God bless you. Yeah. How were you? Did you enjoy the service today? My brother, you are welcome back. God bless you. <laughs> Madam. Thank you so much. We thank God. We thank God. My brother, you are welcome back. <laughs> Good to see your face again. <laughs> I can see you throughout the service. You are just <laughs> you are just laughing. I know it's the it's the joy of the Lord. <laughs> you are welcome. God bless you. Shall we pray, please? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for this family. We thank you for our brother. Father, we still be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we pray an unending Jesus is